poplar is one of the most popular wood species among weekend woodworkers because it's much more affordable and readily available in big box stores, including Home Depot and Lowe's. Though one of the weakest hardwoods, it can be used for various woodworking projects such as building cabinets, shelving units, turned objects, and even trim work. If, however, you're looking to stain your poplar wood with dark colors, it's not going to be as easy a task as staining oak or maple wood. So, there are a few things you need to remember. First, poplar is basic lumber like pine, it doesn't take stain very well. Second, if you need to stain poplar dark, you will need to treat the wood with a pre-stain wood conditioner to take the stain. And last, if you directly apply the stain on the poplar without the preparation, it can result in blotchy and uneven color, it's better to paint the poplar wood rather than stain. So, if you need to stain your poplar wood furniture to look like expensive mahogany or walnut, take the time and follow the steps I mentioned here. These will hopefully give you the evenest finish that looks pleasant to every eye. 1. Sand the wooden surface. Start by sanding the poplar to ensure a smooth surface. Begin with a coarse grit sandpaper and gradually move to finer grits. This helps in preparing the wood for stain absorption. 2. Apply wood conditioner. Before staining, apply a wood conditioner or pre-stain conditioner. This helps to control the absorption of the stain, reducing blotching. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for application and drying times. 3. Stain application. Once the wood conditioner has dried, you can apply the stain. Use a brush, cloth, or sponge applicator to evenly spread the stain. Wipe off any excess stain with a clean cloth. Follow the instructions on the stain can for recommended drying times. For polyurethane or sealer, after the stain has dried completely, you may want to apply a clear finish, such as polyurethane, to protect the wood and enhance its appearance. Choose a finish that suits your preferences, matte, satin, or gloss, and follow the application instructions. Keep in mind that the final color of the stained poplar can vary based on factors such as the type of stain used and the natural color variations in the wood. It's a good idea to test the stain on a small, inconspicuous area before applying it to the entire project to ensure you achieve the desired result. So, those were the tips following which you can stain poplar the way you like. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel RepaintNow.com for more useful tips.